right, so I'm doing DoorDash right now. And I'm like hella irritated. So I'm just going to make a video of this shift. This is my first order on this shift. So I'm just going to go ahead and record today because I'm starting off really mad. So I just hope that it ends off being better so i'm just gonna bring you all through my shift with so my first order was tropical smoothie cafe i got the order at 6 17 it is now 6 40 okay and i am just now getting the food from the restaurant so that kind of gives you a little taste of why i'm kind of heated i'm standing there and i get the smoothies but never got the food and then they're going back and forth with each other and i'm like just please just make the wrap like it's one wrap two smoothies like it shouldn't take over 30 minutes for me to complete this order so this is a major con with DoorDash. Like, I am not going to spend over an hour on one order. I still have to take it to the customer. And if any complications are with that, then that adds on time that I could have. I could do probably three orders within an hour. But I just spent one. I just spent an hour on one order. I hope that when I check back in, I'm in a better headspace because I'm real ticked off right now. And there's nothing that DoorDash will do about it. Like, if you take longer on a order, then you just take longer on the order. They're not going to pay you for a time loss or when the restaurant doesn't have the food ready or anything like that. So now, I'm at the customer's address, the delivery address, which is an extended stay. And the customer is not answering the phone. So, if they don't answer, I'm going to show you all what happens when a customer doesn't answer and... Uh, I have their food already and it's already paid for. If not, then I'll just explain to y'all what happened. I'm going to try to go ahead and go inside the lobby and see if they know who this person is. Otherwise, um, yeah, you all will see what will happen. guys so i was able to find that customer she like walked like she was like walking and she just had her hand out and i was like can i help you and then she was like oh i'm your doordash and i was like yes can you tell me what you ordered people will walk up to you that didn't order at all and be like oh well they know that food is paid for or whatever and then you give them the food and then the customer says oh they never got their food because that was never the customer in the first place but they know DoorDash orders are already paid for right let's say that I go and I'm looking for her I can't reach her or I call her and she doesn't respond if I click on my app that I cannot reach the customer the DoorDash will give me a timer it's usually five minutes and once that timer clocks out, then I would keep the food and I would still receive payment for that job. If it happens today, I'll make sure I record that for you all. But it hasn't happened today because that was my first order that took an hour. So now I'm in available and I'm going to drive, you know, near the mall. It's Friday, so everybody's kind of out. But hopefully it picks up the later it gets. Um, but we're about to see. Ooh. We're about to see. I don't have an order yet, though. So. All right, guys. I just got a DoorDash order from Chipotle, and I was literally in and out. That's what I'm talking about. Because with um, Chipotle, you get there, and the order is already sitting there um, on the little to-go rack right by the register. So you just walk in, grab your order, and go. So I got the food right here. This is a $7 order, and the... I was right here by the restaurant, but the customer is four miles, 4.8 miles away, and this is a $7 order, so. All right, guys, so it is 7.15. I started at 6.15, and I have only gotten two orders, and my total right now is $12. And so now we're gonna wait and see what else we get. I pretty much just drive around or I just park up until I get an order again. Um, yeah, it's not really a method to my madness, but yeah. So I just went ahead and quit my shift because I it is 8 o'clock and I started at 6.15, two orders. Now, 
see, this is why I tell everybody when they do DoorDash, you have to know the hot times, the hot places, and the demand in that area. So it's Friday and don't worry, everybody's out. Like, so I might as well head toward the house. And so that's what I'm doing. I only made twelve dollars and seventy-nine cents. And I've been out here since 15, so now, so that's about an hour and 45 minutes that I've been dashing and only had two orders. Usually I could do probably four orders within that time, but yeah, so I'm not even about to waste no more time and be stuck out here and it's dark. Um, if you watched my first DoorDash video, um, so you have a little bit more information but i'm starting to get a lot of comments under there so i decided why not just make a part two video since you all seem to enjoy um that kind of video one of the questions that um i was getting was why do you accept every order well since that in that video i had done you know the more than 25 so that i can cash out so i was just you know quick money it adds up whatever i'm not thinking about gas or the wear and tear in my car because my car is leased so my car is leased through fair and uh, i have a video about that i'll leave a card in the corner but um my car is leased through fair so in regards to wear and tear and gas and oh you don't want to put so many miles on the car i really don't care anything about that in any way so let's just go ahead and clear that up and um because i can give my car back and trade it in and do all this other stuff and go to the mechanic and it and no money out of my pocket type so i don't really care about all that extra stuff but if that is your situation then doordash may not be for you or ride share apps may not be for you um yeah so then i got oh also i don't accept every order anymore i own i like like I mentioned before, there's certain restaurants I will not accept orders for. And Tropical Smoothie Cafe just added themselves to that list as well. So I won't pick up from IHOP. I won't pick up from, um, hold on one second, let me get over. I won't pick up from IHOP. I won't pick up from um, Tropical Smoothie Cafe. And I will not pick up from the Cheesecake Factory ever. I will never pick up from the Cheesecake Factory ever. Somebody had made a point on the last video that um, ever since DoorDash went mainstream and live and they're all on the commercials, the pay is starting to go down for um, per delivery. And I can honestly say I can agree with that because uh, when I first started, I was getting like $9, $8 for a order. And so that's another reason that contributed to the fact that I was accepting every order because $9 and $8 adds up way faster than a $5 order. Um, yeah. So, but you know, when a business first starts out and they don't have that many employees, they can afford to pay, you know, more than now that they're so... Um, that they're live and they're mainstream and they're high demand and people are starting to learn about them in contrast to Uber Eats. Now they probably can't afford to pay everybody so much. Now I, I, that's just what I'm going to think from like an entrepreneur standpoint that now that so many people work for them they cannot pay out as high as they used to. I don't know. I'm just speaking as a dasher since I've been doing it for a little while. Um, I have definitely seen the difference in the pay. And now I haven't tried any other rideshare apps. Like I don't do Uber Eats. I don't do Postmates. I don't do, um, I think there was another one. Uber Eats, Postmates. I don't know, but I don't do any of that extra stuff. I literally just DoorDash when I feel like it. I have a part, I mean, not a part time. I used to do DoorDash full time, but now I have a job. I have a eight to five job. So that takes up a lot of my time. But um, whenever I feel like it after work, I'll DoorDash. You know, it's just a little, DoorDash is just a little pocket change here and there for me. If you know me, you know, I eat a lot like so I mainly DoorDash to put the money that I spent on food 
put right back in my wallet because um yeah i just like to eat what i want to eat and not keep track of what i eat yeah but oh speaking of eating i'm gonna do the the um let the person in front of me choose what i eat today i'm gonna film that tomorrow for you all because i eat out all day every day really really i don't eat out all day really i only eat like one meal a day but okay we're getting distracted different video different time oh if you're going to drive for doordash i just suggest that your car is cheap on gas and it's easy to maintenance because you don't want a car that overheats and burns on gas really quickly like my car takes 18 dollars to fill because it's a chevy spark um so it's really really small and I showed y'all that in the other video. So it's real small, real good on gas, no matter what the price is. And it'll hold the gas for a while. And I don't, I literally don't go anywhere. So I go to work, I may do DoorDash, but that's as far out as I'm going, like, at all. I don't really travel in this car. Um, the last trip I took, I flew, and that was to Houston. So, yeah, this car only has 74,000 miles on it. I got it it only has 68,000 miles on it so yeah I've only done 6,000 miles on a lot of stopping and going when you do DoorDash it's good to have a car that's efficient on gas especially because you're going to be cutting off and cutting back on the car very often so they need to fix these Atlanta roads anyways I'm just like really disappointed though with DoorDash so eventually I might stop doing DoorDash because I'm trying to get on with Amazon Flex my mom works for Amazon Flex and she makes a lot of money but Amazon Flex isn't really hiring like that right now and it's really irritating because I've applied a long time ago and I'm on the wait list so yeah people in the car next to me are like who I started this, I was only at 25 since 
subscribers. Um, but you all really like the DoorDash video and the fare cart video, so I'm gonna make sure I keep doing stuff like that for you all. Um, even if I don't do DoorDash, you know, I'll explore other apps if you all want me to try it out. Just let me know. You can leave that below too. Um, yeah, so I'm heading back to work like doing it now. And I'm gonna get me something to eat. I wonder if I should start the uh, let the person in front of me choose what I eat from today. I might. Maybe I won't do that. Maybe not today. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. Whatever. Alright guys. So I'll see you all tomorrow.